Ladies and gentlemen, magicians of all ages. It's the illusion that's out of this world. Introducing Phantom Saucer. Can we just see that again a little slower? Introducing Phantom Saucer. Does it only work if you do a tickling balls motion? Introducing. Yep. Introducing Phantom Saucer. Ooh. What real group of kids are all going to go ooh at the same time for the same duration? Phantom Saucer dazzles the senses and fools the eye. Floating in midair. It's amazing. Yeah. It's magic. It has literally blown that kid's mind. The more your kids try it, the better they'll fly it. Actually, you just defined the word practice. It's the fun magical trick that kids can learn super quick. Wow, we've been told to say this. Who wants to try it? This is so cool. Oh god, she's doing the hand movement as well. Kids love Phantom Saucer. Yeah! Your kids can put on a show. Please stop it. More than just a toy. I love how the infomercial is basically saying, can't work out how to use it properly? Then just use it like a frisbee. Phantom Saucer's enchanted illusion is perfect for magicians of all ages. Great, so let's see if it's perfect for this magician. Me. Well, the first thing we have to do is get our little pot, which has the string on it, because yes, it does work exactly like the wiggly worm. And then it has uh, string on there, which is incredibly fine. Can you even see that? Probably not, because even I struggle to see it when it's, uh, it's all unravelled. Bloody hell. I'll get this thing off. Okay, all right, cut to when I've got it bloody ravelled. There we go, all unravelled. Can you see that there? No, probably not, because it is so fine. It's so fine! Okay, so we just tuck it under here. Cheers, Rain, for starting as a bloody filming. And then we get the end here, if I can just unravel it. And then we tuck it. See, you guys probably can't see the string, which just maybe looks like I'm being a mental person right now, trying to attach things to my ears, which you can't see. So there we go, it's behind my ear. And we have it. Hey, here we go. It looked like it's flying, probably not. So I guess we, yeah. Ooh, oh shit. Oh, no, let's hit the string. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again, let's try it again. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh, ah, God damn it. Okay, I don't think you can use this sitting down. So, uh, yeah, cut to me standing up or something. Okay, here's, no, so, right, okay, ooh, I've got to do the ball tickling motion, get the string in my eyes up, yeah, tickling balls, how do we do this? There's no graceful way to do this. Yeah, take on. How do you do some fancy tricks? Oh no, string. Yeah, and uh, is it magic? Can you see the string? Oh, I'm a magician. I'm a magician with some string. Okay, let me try and do some. I don't know how he. Oh look. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, I don't really know how to do any tricks. We got it swinging at one point, didn't he? Oh, look, it's swinging. It's magic. Um, oh, it's just under that hand now. This hand's doing the ball tickling motion as if the person was laying on their back. Okay. Oh, come on, let's try and do some sort of trick. It's cat's cradle. Gets in the cradle and the catch the frisbee. Ooh. So does the guy actually have to? Look, hey kids, do you want to see a magic frisbee? You want you want to catch this kid? Do you want to catch it? Oh bollocks! 
bollocks. Ow. Sorry about that, kids. I'm the worst magician in the world. Let's see if I get some more string. I can, uh, I can show you the trick, really. The Phantom Sorcerer is pretty good if you have the patience to learn all the tricks. The string is very fine, so it can be very fragile, although it does mean that you can't see it even up close. But after a while of it being tucked behind your ear, it can get a little uncomfortable. I guess I just don't possess the necessary skills to fly the Phantom Saucer. Introducing Phantom Saucer! Oh, my ball tickling action was a little off.